What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this uh, Monday evening, October 11th, 2021. It's a date about 6.40 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe is going to be a 3.3 earthquake at 83 kilometers. Well up around the Aleutian Trench area. An aftershock from this morning 6.9 earthquake. Pretty strong earthquake striking the Alaska area earlier this morning. Of course, we're seeing a lot of earthquake uh, aftershock sequences going on in that area of the world. You can see that uh, activity here on this map right smack dab next to that 6.9. Looks like about 11 earthquakes or so of 2.5 and above um, for that area. And so far, I believe the 4.1 that struck a little bit ago is the largest aftershock following that uh, 6.9. Some movement along the Aleutian Trench towards the uh, west over here with a couple smaller and deep earthquakes, 4.9 at 35 kilometers. And we did see a little bit of activity around the, um, the uh, Coral Islands in the trench region over here with that 5.8. That earthquake striking at about 59 kilometers below the surface. Still relatively quiet, but uh, some deep movement taking place in this area of the Pacific Plate. A swarm of activity south of the Philippines into the Indonesia uh, Indonesia region. Quite a few fives kicking up here and some deep movement at that. Well, there's a 4.4, 156 kilometers for that uh, earthquake. And some further deep movement to the south. Over here along the Solomon Islands area, looking at a 4.5, uh, actually near the Papua New Guinea region. 79 kilometers, some deep movement there. And it looks like a pretty deep earthquake activity south of Samoa, southwest of Samoa along the Tonga Trench, 4.3 at 253 kilometers. Uh, the rest of the Pacific Plate up northward, pretty uh, kind of active into parts of Southern California. And uh, let's see what we got over here around Guatemala. That's kicking up here, 4.1. Uh, kind of looks like it's on the uh, Mexico border side, 83 kilometers for that depth there into the middle America Trench for that 4.1. So up here into the North American continent, uh, did have a, uh, not a not a large earthquake, but a, a 3.1 earthquake striking around the Ridgecrest area. All this activity is some aftershock sequences following the earthquake activity July 4th and July 5th, a couple years ago in this region where they had that uh, uh, larger earthquake activity take place. But uh, seeing a little swarm of movement kick up here with the aftershock activity today. Uh, not a whole lot of swarming going on, but uh, there's some movement into the San Jacinto Fault area and the Ridgecrest region. Looks like uh, Long Valley Super Volcano still seeing some microquakes around the region, 2.8 near Round Valley, California. And also some activity up north into the Antelope Valley area, or at least onto the uh, west and the east side of it. Seems like that's how these swarms have been occurring uh, recently, west and east side of it. 2.3 looks like the largest quake in that sequence of earthquakes today in the uh, near the uh, Bridgeport, California area. Uh, some further movement up outside of Reno uh, into the eastern crest of Sierra Nevadas. And of course, the swarming uh, taking place around the, um, the hydrothermal type plant there near the geysers. Typical earthquake activity, earthquake induced activity, I should say, in that region. The Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet, folks. We're not seeing a whole lot of movement. A little bit of activity outside of Victoria. Just a couple small deep microquakes and some movement outside of uh, uh, right around the Yellowstone National Park area and also the Idaho region. Sawtooth, Fall, Sawtooth Fault System showing some activity there as well. Uh, Oklahoma areas to the east, pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot of movement. The trimmer map for tonight along the Cascadia subduction zone shows 499 epicenters of trimmer. Once again, uh, that's today. So the activity is still continuing on the southern end and also on the northern end up on the Vancouver Island ranges up here. A lot of movement taking place in these two areas. Looks like a little diminishing activity around the Seattle area, but I don't think we're done with the trimmer uh, at all. So definitely still keeping an eye on the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, let's see what we've got into Hawaii, right? Had that uh, 6.2 strike there. But uh, look at that. 
Things kind of calming down. There's a little bit of aftershock activity, but uh, diminishing. Still seeing some activity on the southeast region. Pretty, pretty uh, deep earthquake activity. Of course, that's typical in this region. A um, little bit of movement up here around the uh, north of the Kilauea Volcano, 2.4 near Volcano Hawaii. Pretty shallow earthquake, 2.4. Just kind of still kind of keeping an eye on this. I think a 6.2 kind of stirred things up down there. I'm, I'm just not for sure what the outcome is yet of that uh, earthquake. I guess we will see here in the near future. Uh, over around Greece, sea of, or the uh, Mediterranean Sea, low 4.2. Not a whole lot of movement out here recently. Things kind of calming down. And the Puerto Rico area, area, just a couple small quakes. South America. Some deeper movement into the Peru Chile Trench, but uh, overall not a whole lot of movement taking place in the South America region. The activity that's kind of kicking up here for the uh, geomagnetic forecast, still kind of waiting to see this thing kick up. Uh, we haven't really seen it really, we haven't really measured it being ramped up yet. We are expecting a uh, G2 class storm, a KP index up around the six level. Um, should be happening pretty soon here. At least according to that map, I'm not, I'm not seeing a whole lot. The Aurora forecast is showing a little bit of activity, kind of amping up within the last couple hours. You can see the green, but uh, I'm, I'm expecting this to really ramp up here pretty soon from a CME that is headed uh, this way, or should be. As you can see, the forecast still calls for the... Uh, the storm to take place, 40% chance at the uh, mid-latitudes of the aurora, auroras, 75% chance at the higher latitudes, and then uh, diminishing after that. Sea flare dropped down from 50% to 50% uh, to 40% chance. M flare remaining steady at 10. Um, other areas of the solar flare probability, very low. Not a whole lot of sunspot activity at the moment as uh, far as the surface of the sun goes. Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check that uh, out real quick. Can't uh, say there's a whole lot going on out there because it's really not. Pretty quiet. That earthquake that showed up there on the seismograph stations is that earthquake that struck in the Alaska region this morning. That 6.9 that struck up here showing up pretty uh, significantly on the Yellowstone station. So other than that, there's not a whole lot of movement taking place. No Yellowstone uh, swarming going on at the moment folks so have a good day we a good night i should say we will chat you guys a little bit later we got uh a whole lot of stuff going on this weekend here folks <clears throat> with uh some uh, activity going on uh on location for this channel we'll chat you guys a little bit later stay safe